Welcome to a new episode of our weekly series, COVID-19 Science and Context, where an expert of the Imperial College COVID-19 response team will answer your questions on the pandemic and what science has to say about it. Joining me today is Dr. Anne Corey. This week, the UK reached over 4.1 million confirmed cases and 20 and a half million adults have received their first dose of the vaccine and a more transmissible evasive variant first identified in Brazil as the P1 lineage has now been confirmed in the UK. And you worked on uh, modeling scenarios for the UK's roadmap out of lockdown. Can we speed up the lifting of lockdown measures or should we be worried about these new variants? Well, we know that the virus evolves and um, it has more opportunities to evolve if transmission is high. So it's really important to keep numbers down. So in terms of the roadmap out of lockdown, it can really only move forward when the four requirements are met and following data and not dates. How is this data on new variants incorporated in your work? Our work so far has assumed properties uh, of the virus that are broadly similar to B117, that is the currently dominant COVID-19 variant in the UK. But if variants of concern with a substantially higher transmissibility or vaccine escape variants were to become dominant in the UK, we would need to change to use more pessimistic assumptions about the reproduction number over time as we unlock and about vaccine efficacy. And that in turn would lead to more hospitalizations and more death if the roadmap stays uh, fixed. This data on, that you do use in your modeling, how is that being monitored? The UK has one of the best sequencing surveillance systems in the world. Um, this means that we can detect very rapidly the presence of new variants. And we're also able to estimate very quickly whether those new variants are more transmissible, more severe, and whether current vaccines are going to be effective against them. And we can update our model immediately once new evidence on those variants emerges, and this will in turn inform decision-making. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.